everybody thanks for joining me today I am going to do a quick layout and I'm going to do it in real time because I'm on my lunch hour and I think I can get this done quick since most of it's already done so if you watched my Friday freeze last week I showed you this cut file this was from Paige Evans if you um, receive her newsletter she does send out a, and also on her Facebook page she gives out free cut files and so I love this one I've had it for a while and I'm doing it with a picture of my husband and my daughter now she's probably about 18 months to two years old here and she's now in her 30s so this is an older picture but um, close to where we live um, if you're from the Midwest you may have know about Wisconsin Dells and it's a fun place for like Chicagoans and people from the area to go with their families. And so this was um, one of the years we had taken her up there. And they don't have it any longer, but they used to have this um, little attraction. It was like a garden that you could walk through. And inside was all of the storybook characters from mother goose so you had like in their pond there was um the story the story of rub a dub dub three men in a tub um there was jack and the beanstalk goldilocks and the three bears old mother hubbard so you get the general idea so i have a whole group of pictures from that and i've wanted to scrapbook them for a while and I just haven't found the right paper. Part of the problem is is what my husband's wearing, but my daughter's also in red, and a lot of the things are bright colors. So this page probably doesn't go as much with what she's wearing, only because I'm using softer colors, but that's part of my problem. But when I saw this cut file of a book with flowers coming out of it, it reminded me of storybook, obviously, a book and garden. So that's kind of where I went with it. So I just backed the cut file. I used papers from the Magical Characters, which was from Queen and & Company, and then from Dear Lizzie, Lovely Day. And so I took this picture and I cut it down. There was just like trees. I cut it down to four by four. So I'm just going to find um, something to back it on that's kind of... Um, a brighter color and this kind of is kind of a neat I just want something that will stand up against what's already there so maybe I'll go with this green I only need a little bit to have it pop off so let's go ahead and glue that down and then I did um, pull my glue guns not cooperating come on I did pull um, my thickers. These were ones that, um, if you've been watching my freezes, I've had that um, hip kit kits that I bought from them a while back that I've been slowly working my way through. So these were the thickers that were in there. These enamel dots were in there. And um, this is a newer one that I got from like... Um, Oh, what is the peachy cheap deal which is the Chamel never grow up so I threw those in this was in that kit which is I believe uh, Maggie Holmes and then these word stickers from stamp market so I thought I just kind of pull out some of these it doesn't need a lot of embellishment because as you can see it's kind of busy with um, just the cut file by itself so I really don't need a whole lot to go on it and I was thinking about possibly cutting out a tag. So in a second, I might use just the back of one of these pieces of white paper because I thought maybe a, a tag um, next to it would kind of help it pop off the page a little bit so I could just kind of make an embellishment cluster next to it. So let me go ahead and trim this down real quick. And we'll see if we can find a nice paper. Otherwise, I might just go with white. So I'm thinking if I can just kind of have this down here just on a little bit of an angle. And like I said, if I can put a little tag right here. Um, I have a brown one that I obviously don't 
want to use, but that's kind of the general idea. I'll just use this as a template. Um, it is a little bit bigger than I wanted. Let me see if I've got a smaller one I can use. Do, do, do. I had some tags over here. I used, i too lazy to go and get out my um, die cutting machine. Let me just grab this smaller tag. Hang on one second. I've got just a smaller one. Yeah, this is more the size I'm wanting. So let's see if we can find a piece of paper and then we'll just cut that down. And I could even use, actually this is perfect. And I can just use the white side. So what I usually do when I'm, I'm making my own tag is I just find one that's already cut out and I just trim it off, cut the ends, and then hole punch it. And then I have some reinforcers that I can use to um, reinforce the hole. And I just have, you know, one of those standard um, hole punches that you can get at like Walmart or any office supply store. I think I've had this one for years and years. All right, so now we have just a regular green tag, but I'm going to use the back side so that it kind of pops off. And I have a hole reinforcer right here. And we're going to just go with that. get rid of the scraps there. So let's just go ahead and glue these down. And I can get rid of this because I've got a mess on my desk. Now if you wanted, you could pop the cut file up off the page. Um, I go back and forth with it. I'm trying to fit a lot of pictures into her baby album. So I'm kind of um, limiting some of the chunkiness only because it just makes me, I'm running out of room for albums. I don't know if any of you guys are having the same problems. So I'm just trying to keep a little bit of the thickness down. So now when I'm looking at this, this is darker on the top. It's variegated. I want the dark color up above. So I'm just going to place this here at the um, bottom, kind of center it. And I can go back with a little wet glue in any of the spots that kind of are um, poking up, like this little leaf, I can kind of glue down with wet glue. So now I can go ahead and mount this picture. And I want a little bit of the orange to show, I think. I don't want it too far down. So we're just going to go like right here, I think. And we'll glue it down. And I'm just going to glue it in the center for right now because I am going to tuck the tag under. And I do have photo corners that I want to put on. So we'll go ahead and tuck that like right there. Well, maybe I'll go higher. Right there. So I can still see a little bit of orange. Now let's find this tag here. And I'll put a string on it off camera. I don't have one with me right now. So I think I'm just going to put that here. I don't think the green would look. It would just be too, too blended in. So we'll go ahead and put a tag there. Now I do have four photo corners. So I want to put one photo corner in each corner. Now the reason I'm going with silver is because 
in my hip kit, I had these um, foam thickers, and they have kind of a, they're silvery, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, they're silver, silvery color, um, kind of almost holographic. That's the word I was looking for. But they, because they're on pink foam, they have kind of a pink purple tint to them. So they look great with the pay, um, the page from the cut file. So, but I don't want to go with like gold or anything like that because I still want it to stand out. And I'm just thinking of putting the title like right here. Where do I want to go? Yeah, I want it over here. So I'm thinking if I can just have it go over some of the flowers like that. So let's just go ahead and start it right there. And I'm going to grab my T-square ruler because I do want to kind of keep it straight. So yeah, if you haven't checked out, if you have like a Cricut or a Silhouette, if you haven't checked it out already, like I said, Paige Evans has a great Facebook group, and then she also has her um, her newsletter, and she is so gracious in giving away free cut files. So I really recommend um, checking it out because she's got some beautiful stuff. She also has an Etsy shop too, so if there's something that you're looking for, um, check out her stuff on Etsy as well, where you can go ahead and buy them. And I think she has them. I don't have a. I have a Cricut. I don't have a Silhouette, but um, I believe she carries items in the Silhouette store as well. So we have Storybook. Storybook Garden. So there's the title. And I think it needs something down here. So maybe I can do like one of these tags that's on here. And there is pink and blue. I think I'm going to go with the blue. I don't want to go with the gold, obviously, because of... Um, of like I was just talking about with the um, thickers. So we'll go ahead and build it off of here. And these have some really cute sayings. So let's see if we can have, um, like it has ha happy heart. Maybe I'll go down there with that. Um, this says, um, let's see, oh, happy day would be cute. We can actually put that on the label. Maybe I'll pull this one up higher. And I'm just making a cluster here, and then I might sprinkle some stuff. So let's go ahead and look at these. Um, let's see if there's anything I can fit in here. I like the let's have fun, but I don't know if it's going to fit now on my tag. Maybe we'll tuck it under. Sometimes with a big letter, even though you're covering it or tucking it under, you can still read it. And I don't, let me undo this because I, I want it to be all the way on the tag. So let me put it on the tag first. Now my photo corner doesn't want to come up. All right. Getting starting over. If you don't like something, just move it over. All right. So let's have fun. 
I just need to check my time because I'm on lunch. So hang on one second. Okay, I got about nine minutes. So now that's better. I need to get some adhesive under there. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and then I will adhesive it. That looks better. All right. And then, I, like I said, I'll get some more glue on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the Oh Happy Day. And I'm going to go ahead and put the photo corner back on. And I'm going to put my happy heart down below. And there's a little heart sticker here. So maybe I'll just stick that like that. All right, I'm happy with that and that. So now. Let me look at some of these. Um, this is from the Never Grow Up from Chamel. And I like how it's got some little birds and butterflies. So I thought I could just sprinkle a few of them around. So I'll put a little butterfly here. And let's see. This little snail is cute. Let's see if I can tuck him in there and a little butterfly do I want them down here nope I want them up here and let's see do I need one more I've got one two three maybe something over here There's a little bird. I can have the little bird sitting on the flower. And there's a cardinal. Oh no, here's a little blue bird. So I'll put the little blue bird sitting on the title. And that's cute. And then we'll just sprinkle a couple enamel dots. And then I think we're done. Now I think I want to go, I've got a lot of pink on here, and I've only got a few blue, so let me go ahead and use a couple of the blue. Go one here. One here. We'll do one on the other side. Do I need any yellow? I think I'm good. I don't even think I need any yellow. It's just got a little bit of lump and bump and it's good to go. So I'm gonna call this done. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, eh, I might need to get a different one. I'll glue that down when I'm done. Sometimes if you just leave things alone, you'll be fine. I was trying to get it on the corner more straight and then I end up breaking it. All right, that's where it needs to be and I'll glue it down. All right, I wanna thank you guys for stopping by. Glad I could get this done on my lunch hour real quick and we will see you um, in another day or two. Hopefully I'll have another um, layout up. For sure I'll be up on Friday um, for the Friday freeze. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.